Hi, guys. Hi. Teacher. <laughs> Hi, how are you tonight? Fine, and you? I'm okay. I'm good. How was your day? What did you do? Everybody work today? Yeah. All day. Yes, I work. You worked all day? Yes. Have you studied? Have you studied at all? Mm, more or less. <laughs> more or less. All right. Well, as long as you study, it's okay. Um, welcome. Let me see who do we have tonight. Heidi, Katya Lima, Jenny, Daisy, Juan Carlos. Hi. Mirna. And that's it. All right. Welcome, everyone. We're going to continue practicing. All right. Let me see. Look up my screen. And I wanted to ask you, are there any topics you want to review? You never told me. You're muted. Any topics you would like to review? Tell me what topic was difficult. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes teacher. teacher. All right, yeah, did I get no answers? I didn't know, I was not sure. Well, in that case, um, we'll continue then, okay? We're going to start section three, if I'm not wrong, this is the right one. So, Jenny, can you read the objective, please? Okay, uh, build your English language with the lesson on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use evaluating phrases such as an apartment are too small for pets, house are too expensive, or house costs too much money. Okay, very good. Let's review some pronunciation, okay? This is learn, build. Say build. 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 Yes. Build. This build. Is build. Braces. 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 What else do we have here? Um, are too small. Too small. Too small. Too small. Too small. Not too s, but too. Too, too small. small. Too small. Too small. Too small. Too small. Very good. Okay, let me make sure this is not the one we watched last night. Hold on. I think it's the same one, right? Did we watch this already? Yes. Yes, I watched. The same one, right? Yes. It's true. Okay. Yeah, it's too long. We're not going to watch that again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry then. Mm, so small. For families. All right. Yeah, we're going to go back to this in a little bit. But meanwhile, let's continue. Okay. So let's do exercise. All right. Number one. Hey, D, go ahead. According to the audio on section 31, apartment are too small for pets. Let's say apartments are too small. Apartment. 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 Apartments. Apartments. Right. So you're saying it's number one. Okay, that's based on the audio, but let's see if you remember or if you have it on your platform right now, share with me, okay? Number two, um, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, you're muted. 
Okay, Mr. Noe Garcia, go ahead. Um, apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. Number three. Okay, that works. Very good. Three, Yolanda. Okay. Um, I think it's the first one. Apartments don't have privacy. No, don't have enough privacy. Right enough, I think. Very good. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's the second one. Awesome. Yes, um, I noticed you're saying apartments, the majority of you, but we don't pronounce that A, all right? So we're going to say apartments. Apartment. Apartments. Apartments. Yes, that sounds better. And you say apartment. too small. So you're going to connect this. Too, too small. small. No. Now let's say the phrase together. We're gonna say apartments are too small. All connected. Apartments are too small. Go ahead. Apartments are too small. Apartments are too small. Apartments are too small. Yes. Perfect. That sounds better. Okay. Awesome. Let's see. Let's continue then. Um, number four. Volunteer. Um, apartments don't have enough space. Let's see. Apartments don't have enough space. Enough Number two. Space. Let's check. Let's see if it's right. There it is. I'm waiting. Yay, everything is correct. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so excited. Woohoo! <laughs> that is right. Awesome. We're the best team, huh? <laughs> okay. Mm, we're going to practice this a little bit more. We haven't finished, but I guess that I'm going to insist on this topic because it's confusing. But last night we worked on uh, as much as and as many as. You remember? Yes. Yes, I, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. So we're going to continue working on that. Anyway, um, who wants to read the objective? Arnold? Hello. Hi, read the objective, please. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Can you see the objective? Yeah. Okay, hold on. JC, can you read it? No, not him. You're muted. There okay. You Go ahead. Okay. Uh, practice using adjectives and nouns to express comparisons in English. In this lesson, practice comparing uh, houses and apartments to express similar similarities. Similarities or, or similarities. similarities or difference. Difference. Additionally, uh, learn how to use expressions or quantity like just as, enough, or too much to modify, adjectives, modify. Uh, modify adjective and nouns, for example, just as comfortable or too few closets. El Bayer. <laughs> I muted everyone because of that. All right, if you want to participate, unmute the microphone, okay? Uh, so, pronunciation of this, I know it's weird, but that's the way you pronounce it, all right? You're going to say, you're going to say comfortable, all right? That's the pronunciation of this, comfortable. Everybody Com repeat. Comfortable. 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 
comfortable. comfortable. Right. Comfortable. It has nothing to do with the spelling for some reason, but that is the pronunciation. What can we do, right? So it's comfortable. Comfort. Comfortable. Comfortable. Perfect. Very good. And that's it. Let's see. Let's watch this video and then we're going to practice. Everyone, everyone need the microphone, please. You'll be able to express similarities about your house and your neighbor's house. For example, you'll be able to make the following comparisons. By the end of this class, you'll be able to compare and express similarities about houses and apartments. Okay, can you see and hear well? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, awesome. Pay attention, please. I'll pause it in between, all right? So pay attention. Pair and express similarities about houses and apartments. Additionally, you'll be able to express similarities about your house and your neighbor's house. For example, you'll be able to make the following comparisons. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. In this class, we're going to learn how to make comparisons with adjectives. And we're also going to learn how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by adjectives? Well, if we look at the adjective convenient, and what do I mean by nouns? Well, if we look at the noun rooms or privacy, that's what I mean by adjectives and nouns. So let me present the formula at this time. What we want to do is we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom. We're going to start with comparisons with adjectives. So in order for us to make sense of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write the same example that is there and then we're going to make a few more to make sure that we understand the topic. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject this is going to be followed by the verb to be. The verb to be can be in its positive form or in its negative form. And it will then it will be followed by as, the adjective, and as. So, quick example. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Towards the end, you will include whatever it is that you're comparing your subject with. So, in this case, I'm comparing houses versus apartments. Now let me give another example. What I want to do now is I'm going to choose a different subject. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to make negative statements there. Apartments aren't as, and I'm going to say expensive as houses. Apartments aren't as quiet as houses. And you can say apartments aren't as, and I'll use the adjective here, spacious as houses. What I would like to do now is explain how to express similarities. That means that they are the same or almost the same. And that's our last example there. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. That opinion means that they are the same. So I want you to take a look at that example. Apartments, that's going to follow the verb to be in its positive form. And then it's going to follow as or just as. Okay. Actually, um, you can either say just as or you can simply say as. And, and both will be the correct way of expressing it. So we can say apartments are just as expensive as houses. And that's my personal opinion, right? Or you can simply say apartments are as expensive as houses. And you can use any adjective to compare the two. You can say apartments are as quiet as houses. 
apartments are as spacious as houses apartments are as convenient just like we see the example there right as houses and so remember that this kind of things you're making comparisons so maybe in your area apartments are the same as houses so they cost the same you know they are as big as houses uh, apartments are as convenient as houses etc usually that's not the case usually they are big differences among houses and apartments but in this case we're saying that they are the same what I would like to do now is to show you how to make comparisons but this time I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns and what do I mean by nouns well when we talk about nouns in the context of comparing houses and apartments we can think of things like rooms privacy bedrooms bathrooms kitchens anything that has to do with what's inside of a house or outside of a house those are nouns if you will and what I would like to do is to propose this formula that you see towards the bottom in order for us to make sense of this comparison here on the top so first of all we're gonna have some sort of subject so in this case as you can see apartments is um, our uh, subject there I'm gonna go ahead and make this small because I want it to fit on the screen so apartments that follows the verb the verb can be in its, po in its positive form or in its negative form and then we're gonna include as or just as as you can see there and after that you will include many plus account now so I want you to pay attention to that real fast we're gonna have many plus account now and what do we mean by count nouns well count nouns are those things that you can easily count if you recall the previous lesson that we saw where we talked about count nouns and non count nouns we said that count nouns are those things that you can easily count or this will follow much plus a non count now so I want you to look at that for a moment now and what do we mean by non count well again recalling the previous lesson that we saw we learned that non count nouns are those things that are difficult to count and then it's gonna follow as plus some sort of noun so let me write the example here apartments have as many rooms as houses and then we'll take that last example there apartments don't have as much privacy as houses in our first example we're saying that they are pretty much the same so they're quite similar in our second example we are saying that there's a difference between houses and apartments and that is that apartments don't have as much privacy as houses and then again you can make many different comparisons between houses and apartments what else can you say well you can say that apartments don't have as many windows as houses that might be the case you can say that apartments don't have as much space as houses finally the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice these concepts that we have learned and I want you to make the comparison between your house and your neighbor's house I want you to use nouns and adjectives to compare your house and your neighbor's house so just a little help here you can you can use the adjectives that I'm proposing here such as comfortable convenient dangerous dark bright expensive huge and if you want to use those adjectives when you can use this formula right like for example you can say my house okay um, let's review some of the adjectives we are going to work on the structures but not using this exercise we're going to use a different one all right but let's review the the adjectives okay and their pronunciation repeat with me ready right okay. comfortable. 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 comfortable comfortable convenient convenient convenient, convenient. convenient. 
convenient, convenient. Dangerous. 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 Or like that, like that. It's not I and it's not A, okay? Dangerous. 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 Yes, that sounds way better, good. good, good. Okay, dark. 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 Bright. Right. Right. Expensive. Right. Expensive. Expensive. Huge. 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 Small. Huge. Small. 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 Inconvenient. Inconvenient. Modern. 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 Uh, noisy. 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 Private. 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 Quiet. 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 Yes. Safe. 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 Yes. I, I know you heard on the video spacious, right? But yeah, this comes from the word space. So it's spacious. Okay. Questions about the vocabulary? Do you know all the adjectives? Huge. Okay. What do you mean, huge? What's the meaning of huge? Huge. Let me show you. Right, guys, uh, let's mute the microphone, okay? Because I, I hear children. All right, a huge is, for example, you have big. You have big and then you have huge. So that means it's like when you have hot and then you have warm. So it's another level. It's higher. Is that clear? So you have big and huge, like enormous. Okay. Clear? Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions about this? Yes, teacher. Tell me. Tell me. Go ahead. Bright. Bright is the opposite of what, guys? It's here. What's the opposite? Bright is the opposite of? Dark. Yes. Dark. Dark. Is that clear? Bright is yes. the opposite of uh, dark. Okay. What else? Hey, are you saying something? Noisy. Hey, I don't hear you. Uh, noisy is the opposite of quiet. All right, let's put, we should organize it like that. Look, noisy is the opposite of quiet. So it's like, shh, be quiet. Or, oh, it's too noisy. Blah, 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 blah. And all the noise you hear. <laughs> the woo woo from the kids, children, right? That, uh, the, the kids talking and children. So noisy okay, is the thanks. opposite of quiet. Clear? Right, start. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Is the opposite of tiny or small in this case. Small. Okay, any other questions? What's the opposite of safe? Dangerous. Dangerous. Very good. Safe is the opposite of Dangerous. Dangerous. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. What's the opposite of convenient? Inconvenient. 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 Yeah. Very good. Convenient and inconvenient. All right. Everything clear? Yes. Safe, huge, small. All right. Awesome. We're going to practice. Okay. Pay attention to what we're going to do. I wouldn't want you to be confused. I have a question, but the other thing. Uh -huh. When do you use just? Uh, just? Mm -hmm. um, what are you yes. comparing it to, to? Hold on. Let me see if I can go back here. All right, look at this. So you have. You have as much or as many. Okay, let me give you an example here. Guys, if you have questions, let me know because we had time to clear all questions, all right? 
So you have, for example, I have as many um, chairs as Jenny. We were saying last night, we were practicing this. So what is the difference if you say I have just as many chairs as Jenny? It's like justo lo mismo, la misma cantidad. So it's, that, that's the only difference. Okay. Like exactly the same. All right. Okay. Very That's the only difference. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. No more? This is your time. Huh. <laughs> okay. I'll take that as a no. So this is what we're going to do. All right. We're going to practice um, three things together. For example, we're going to practice as and here we're going to use an adjective okay and here we're going to use as again but remember that this can be affirmative or it can be negative because last night somebody was confused and they were saying is is it the only way to use this using the i mean is using the negative structure the only way to to use this and I said no the thing is that we didn't find any real examples right so we can use both all right we can even ask questions actually so what do I mean when I say let's use an adjective all right I'm going to give you an example because this is what I want you to do we're going to compare mm, let me see we're going to compare metro centro okay metro centro <laughs> metro centro versus La Gran Vía, okay? All right, so let's use an adjective. Mm -hmm. So we're going to say, for example, Metro Centro is or are? Is. Metro is. Centro is. is. Hold on, I don't like this right thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, because it's, it's, yeah, okay. Metro Centro is as, we're going to write one affirmative example and a negative example, okay? These are the ones we're comparing. So Metro Centro is as, what, what do they have in, in, in common? Crowded. In size? Yeah, probably ah, it's as crowded. big. Uh, Good Crowded. That works. I like that. Okay, we're going to say it's as crowded, and I'm going to take Yolanda's example big. All right, but let's do one. Let's focus. So we're going to say Metro Centro is hold on, as crowded as what? As La Gran Vía. La Gran Vía. Yay, there you go. La Gran Vía. Okay. So this is the comparison, they are the same. But now let's see a difference, all right? And we're using adjectives right now. So let's say, um, let's do Yolanda's example. So she said, Metro Centro, Metro Centro what? Is or are? Is as big. Is. Is as big as? La Gran Vía. Gran Vía, okay. Very good. So we're using is as big as. All right. We're using an adjective. Okay. Now let's find a difference. What do they have? What is the difference? Tell me a difference, guys. Come on, come on. Which one is more expensive? Mm -hmm. La Gran Vía. I think La Gran Vía, the yeah. is... mm -hmm. <laughs> La Gran Vía right? Okay, so are they as, ex as expensive or they're not? Is it this? They are not, they're not different. Expensive. It's different, right? So we're going to use the negative form because it's different, all right? So we're going to say, for example, eh, La Gran Vía, no, Metro Centro. We need to start with that because we're going to say, Metro Centro no es tan caro como La Gran Vía, okay? Metro Centro isn't, isn't, isn't as, as expensive, expensive. As, mm -hmm. la Gran Vía. as La Gran Vía. Yes, very good. You got it. 
Okay. Is that easier? Okay. You know mm -hmm. what? Right now, I will not ask you to combine all the four structures. We're going to focus on as adjective and as affirmative and negative. So I want you to find, this is the activity, all right? I want you to find one similarity, similarity and a one difference. So you're going to write the similarity in the affirmative or negative form, guys. And so we're gonna write it in the affirmative form and the difference we're going to express it with the negative, negative form, exactly, negative form. Okay, please somebody take a picture of this because this is the example in the structure. And then I'm going to write the activity, okay? Got it? Somebody? Yes. All right, thank you. So here is the exercise. We're going to find one similar, similarity, one difference, and these are the things we're going to be comparing, okay? Let me write them for you. We're going to compare Latentis. Hey, do you remember this woman? <laughs> This man yeah. actually yeah. so famous. All right, versus Scarlett Johansson. I don't know how to write Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> what do they okay. have in common? <laughs> Their beauty. They're both beautiful, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Yeah, definitely. No, you you know what? They are a. Uh, what do they have in common? I don't know. In common, their person. <laughs> <laughs> but you need an adjective. They, you need an adjective. Oh, <laughs> they, oh, they uh, live. Actual. <laughs> uh -huh, you, yes, famous, okay. maybe. Yeah, let's say famous. It's not real. It's not real for sure. <laughs> but uh, you need to find an adjective. Person is not an adjective, right? So you will find a way. Okay, another thing we're going to compare is um, cars versus buses which one is more convenient guys what's more convenient cars or buses cars yeah the cars. now we're going to compare you know what boys versus girls all right we may have a debate here and uh, no, 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 no. let me see. Oh, also, we're going to compare San Salvador versus uh, San Miguel. What's the main difference? Tell me, you know. <laughs> the heat, right? San Miguel is warm. The weather. Uh -huh, that's the weather. going to be your difference. You need to write a difference, okay? Uh, using the adjective. And the it's last warmer. one. Uh, yeah, but you're not going to write it's warmer than. You're going to say it's not as hot. It's not as hot. That's something you can write. Follow the structure. And the last one I want you to compare is online sessions or an online course versus a, a class in classroom, in classroom course. Okay, this is the activity. Can somebody take a screenshot of this, please? And that I don't know where they have it. But then cheese. Okay, you got it? And under it is double X. Right, take a screenshot of this and let's make sentences. Ready? Yes? All right, make sure you're using the right structure. So we're going to work in groups of three. Accept the invitation, please. Jose and Yolanda, are you there?
As yes. famous as. No. No. Eh, only eh, que son actores. Ah. Uh, like the example that you say, both are actress. Right. But the thing is that you the have to use is, the as. For example, as that famous is, as, is, as, as, is, as famous as Scarlett Johansson. That's not real, but you can find another adjective of something they have in common. But you have to use the structure as adjective and then as. Again, uh, look at the example. I sent it to WhatsApp as well so that you can use that as a reference. Right, but let's stick to the structure, please. Okay. Do you have questions, or is it clear? It's clear. It's clear. All right, I'll try it. You can do it. Card. But aren't are not convenient as, as cards. cards. Mm -hmm. and, okay. You have double S, all right? As convenient as. As convenient, ah, okay. Right. As card. It's like a sandwich, like a like a burger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As convenient. Um, as. I think cars aren't big as buffet. Right. Remember, yeah. you need double S, okay? As Big S, okay. As buses. Remember, it's like um, a burger. Okay. I'm gonna mention that. Buses. Okay. Are buses are in the car aren't cheaper as buses? Guys, just let's cheap. try to let's try to write them, okay? Because you need to use double S, okay? As convenient yeah. as you're you're not saying the first as you need to say both okay mm. okay yes so cars aren't mm -hmm. as uh, cheaper as convenient as buses exactly yes and the 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 adjective mr garcia the adjective doesn't require ar because this is a different conjugation um, All right, so okay. you say as, adjective, don't modify the adjective, and as, again. Okay, let's try one more with cars and, and buses. What, um, what do they have in common? Another adjective. Cars An adjective are... Common? Mm -hmm. common. Cars are dangerous as buses okay uh, you're missing one thing there to for it to be correct what is it so dangerous is okay so cars are as dangerous as dangerous buses. yay you got it all right pay attention to that make sure you're using double as all right yeah great great write them pretty are pretty <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're pretty, so you're going. <laughs> so you're going to say as pretty as. All right, make sure you say as as both. As you get, the boys aren't as intelligent as girls. <clears throat> as beautiful as girls. <laughs> Do you think that? <laughs> San Miguel is um, is a big a uh, San Salvador. I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe. <laughs> 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 mm, I don't know either. I cannot remember. I think, San, I think San Miguel is bigger. Yeah. 
We've had that. Yeah. <laughs> you what, I'm sorry? San Miguel is as big as San Salvador. And then, <clears throat> okay. The next, San Salvador versus San Miguel. Salvador isn't warm or, or hot, I'm not sure. As San Miguel. Uh, warm. Hot. Warm or hot? I'm not warm. sure what is the correct. Warm I or think hot or hot? So it's warm. Warm is cálido y hot is caliente. You can use both. It's hot. Ah, okay. Hot. Are Thank hot. you, teacher. Okay. It would be San Salvador is and hot. 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 You're missing hot as San Miguel. Hot as. As hot as. Don't, don't forget that that's very important. As hot. As hot as. Ah, yeah. As. 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 Yes. It's interesting. Interesting as in classroom. You're missing, you're in class as interesting. It's as, yes, it's true. That's right. Online course is as interesting. In online course. And what? In, in classroom and dynamic, maybe? No. Dynamic as on online course. Okay. Okay. That's all no. Yes. And she's uh, Scarlett Johansson. Is you finish? Difficult. Yeah, that's difficult. <laughs> they are beautiful. <laughs> and as, as intelligent also. Convenient as a uh, in classroom course. Yeah. No. no but that's negative, right? That's isn't, isn't. Isn't. Is in, in classroom as, room course is as convenient as online course. Mm. Hi guys. Yes, it is. Welcome back. Hello. I think it's it's clear now, right? Yes. Because yes. I, I know that yes. In the, yes. it, yeah, on the video it's very confusing trying to like grasp the idea of how to use each one of them. So I guess this helps. And in case that you're forgetting, I may I, I got a burger for you, <laughs> right? For you to remember, you're gonna use as as yeah. as. Don't forget the bread all right you need both for it to work mental note okay right? that burger <laughs> all right uh, so give me some similarities that you wrote go ahead tell me some come on come on come on come on bring them to me <laughs> boys uh -huh. boys boys are as smart as girls. Yay. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> quality, huh? So boys are as uh, smart as you see. We have the burger right here. S adjective S again. Okay, another one. Come on, point everyone. Check me out. San Miguel, La Gamilla, San San Miguel San Miguel. is as crowded. Mm, yeah, it could be. It's as crowded as a San Salvador. Very good. One more. San Miguel, San Miguel is as warm as San Salvador. Very good. Now, a online classes versus in classroom lesson. Online like classes are as good is as in class. <laughs> Uh -huh, tell me. Aquí voy a bajar. Online courses. No lo que digan. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Online course is as no, but this is interesting plural. as in classroom course. Yay. This is plural, so you need R, not is. Okay. Pay attention to that. Online course. Online course. Courses. Because you are talking about. Ah, okay. Sure, thank you. So, online courses are as interesting as in classroom. Classroom courses. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You did a great job. Now, let's go with the negative ones to express differences. Okay, examples? Come on. Uh huh. Okay, Sanchez isn't as famous. <laughs> Sanchez isn't as famous as. Let's mute the microphone, all right? Sorry, guys. I hear the dogs again. Sanchez isn't as famous as Scarlett Johansson. I don't want to write her name. Okay. <laughs> Another one. Come on, come on. Isn't as beautiful as Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Let's compare um, cars, cars and buses. Yes, thank you. Cars, cars is, aren't aren't. Uh huh. Yeah, don't um, pronounce it. Uh, cheap. Okay, don't pronounce aren't. it. Aren't. 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 As cheap. And no, buses. Buses. buses are not cheap. Acá dice, los carros no son tan baratos como los buses. Buses are not cheap. Cheap. Ajá. Depende. So, will be. On the. On the, yeah. on the brand. Okay, so cars aren't. No, I, 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 I. Talking. Convenient. About the. About the. 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 The travel. Ah, okay, that's different. Okay, let's do that. I like that. Okay. Because go, go to work by bus, but that's it different. costs 20 cents, and by car, $5. The <clears throat> bus fare. Ah. Is that the price you pay to get on the bus? So the bus fare, not the, not the bus, okay, but the, the ticket. No, the bus fare. Is okay, not, the bus for no, hold on. Um, you want to buy the bus? We're gonna say super expensive. So we're gonna say exactly driving a car is not as cheap as um like the bus. We're gonna say gas. Yeah, I don't want you, I don't want you to be confused. I don't want you to be for gas. Not as cheap as the buffer. That's better, right? But that's a different comparison. Gas versus yeah. uh, gas is not gas as cheap. is not as cheap as the buffer. La gasolina no es tan barata como el pasaje del bus. <laughs> all right, that's a better comparison. Okay. The order matters. All right. 
Okay, I hope that this helped. Is it better now? Little, a lot better? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's okay. better. Oh. And we'll continue practicing on Monday then, okay? I okay. hope that you have a beautiful weekend. Okay. Have fun, go out, study, be with your family. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it was great seeing you. Thank you for joining us. Take care. Bye. Bye. Have a nice Bye. 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 Have a good weekend. Have a nice weekend. Thank you.